Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. This is an interesting review request because the Patreon who was supposed to get the review donated this review to his, her friend. The profile picture shows a girl, I think. This account owner wants to know how to improve heavily into the PvP aspects. So the initial question was, can this account get into C2C3 and today it did get into C2 so pretty much answered itself but we'll check out if it can improve even more uh, it wants to know how to create some meta siege offense teams siege defense teams the account only thinks that the arena defense that it's using right now is pretty much up to date and works well so we'll take a look at that and also give some recommendations regarding arena offenses. I think the account owner also has a dupe meaning. So, oh yeah, you see it right there. They asked me if they think it's better to make a blessing, which I do. There's the answer. Uh, because meaning, I mean, what's the point of a dupe meaning really? It's not that great in offense nor defense. So I would rather just make it a blessing and have a higher chance of getting a better LD5 when you get that LD Lightning. So in the record, C3 Arena, C2 RTA. So it looks like this RTA record C2 was reached before uh, in a G1 guild. So let's start this out like all other account reviews. We'll, start, we'll, we'll check out the swap and see the rune quality. So we imported the file. The account has 2,600 runes. Let's just check six stars level 12 to 15 which filters out 400 runes so 2200 runes efficiency 110 plus 18 runes not a whole lot but the highest is 119 being a destroy rune let's check out 100 246 runes so 230 and then over 90 over 900 runes, over 90% efficiency. So this is on the better side than we have seen in a couple of account reviews. Let's take a look at everything. Let's take a look at Swift, Speed, 32, 30. That's a plus four. 28, a plus four, 28 plus four. A lot of grind issues that I'm seeing. Well, not a whole lot, but I also see issues with max heroes like there's a plus six plus six uh three for speed yeah plus five definitely seeing grind issues rune quality seems pretty high despair speed okay despair is slightly slower 27 27 all plus fours and then we see a plus three that could be a 28 and or a 29 with the legend so again going back to the grind issues Violent, 33 being a plus 4 again, 27, 4, 27, 4, 26, 3. Gr the runes itself look really, really good, but grind issue seems like it's everywhere. 28, okay, plus 5s here, that's cool. But we still see the plus 3s and we also see grind issues here, plus 5, plus 5. Definitely, it, it is across the board. So I will tell this account that it should focus on r5 that is what i will be working on and that it for the time being as there are so many fast runes which requires a legend gem sorry not a legend gem a legend grind some you might say i don't want to give it a legend grind but i think most of these that are over like 27 or 20 even 8 are worthy of legend grinds whether it's speed grind or hp attack defense percent i think they all should be legend grind for that rune so please work on that and that's all i'm gonna check out for the runes because we have a lot of things to go through let's look at the box so that we could give a better recommendation especially in siege defenses for dark lds meing and wo young wo young really usable for probably rta in most sense i know sean b plays with it sometimes dark siri perfect another option for siege defense no truffle though oof no truffle okay so we have to think of that let's go into light ld light not fives 
So, okay, Eleanor seems like a very cool unit these days in Arena Defense. Everything that adds some kind of RNG, I like. And the glancing is very, very annoying. Also has Nigong. Maybe could use maybe could be used for siege defense. Um, but that's about it. You have Kinky, cool. Anything else? Nope. No Leah? No Leah. Okay. So we have to keep that in mind. Pretty sure you have Leo. You do. You have Tiana. Perfect. You have Ooh, no Christina. That's a downfall. You have Xeros. You do. Vanessa. Camila. Okay. Maybe Pyeongchar as well? Yes. Okay. Nice. The two cookies too. So there are a lot of options that we can play with here. Let's go into his arena first. And see if his arena defenses are really up to date like he said. Now I don't think this is that great to be fair. A reason why the defense rate is so low even in C1. And you can see when you got C3, it was also very low, 11%. Even in F1, he only has a 32 he only has a 33% defense rate. Getting hit only six times, but that's because you know C1 is very, very uh because in C1 people are not playing. What I will do is get this rid of this and put this instead. I think this is more annoying. Rune this well up, more tank gear, 100 res if you wanted to perform. I would actually go 100. Res on Byung Char go speed HP HP because I do think that the nerf on him his survivability definitely dropped. It looks like it's not been skilled up, so maybe that's why it's not doing too well. Camila, I recommend this to many many defenses, other other players too. HP HP build, I think um, a tankier Camila, also a faster Camila is more annoying in defense. And then Vanessa, I will try the triple shield. After I tried it once, I think. It really worked well i tried it on other people's accounts and it worked well as well so i can safely say that in global at the very least this is global server triple shield 100 res vanessa is the way to go in most cases obviously if you're running some kind of defense that has a that has a meaning that has some kind of trap that you are thinking of then you could ruin it in a different way but if it's not that i think triple shield is the way now for offense you're using a triple bomb team which i do think this is pretty nice uh, there is a lack of attack buff, but if you do get a lot of bomb damage, which you're not doing with the Sierra, everything should be like crazy bomb damage. And if you can't get that, I would actually be farming more artifacts as well. Although I would, I don't want to deter you. Solo R5 is the way to go for you right now. Okay, the bomb damage looks decent on John, but everything else seems pretty lackluster. Also, attack seems pretty low, and it seems like that's the way because you're going a violence build. Which I don't know if it's the best way to do this. I would want for you to move once and not have to move again. But because you're doing this, maybe you could lack overall damage, causing you to move more. And then, yeah, the violent runes make sense. But if you don't have to do that and you could just wipe them with a with one round of bombs, then you don't really have to give it a violent build. You could just give it a fatal build and it'll be good. Quicker too. You don't have a second turn Leo team. I would definitely make a Xeros team. I don't know why you're not making it. Because Xeros got buffed to like the roof. And his damage output is insane. I see there's a whole lot of second turn teams here that are, that are going to take forever. I don't like these teams. I don't like you making it as a deck. And even if you do, maybe one or two is fine. But you have one, two... Three? There's just too many, man. Four, five. I oh, don't know. I just can't. I, I just can't. Let's say you get rid of this, this last one. Assuming this is the least important one. I guess I'll just use Cocky for now since it deals with Kamui as well, too. So something like this. I will put that offense as well. I'd also want to propose a second turn team, the Varad team. I think you did have Varad with Amelia or even Alaya. So there's Varad. I know you have Amelia, which still is usable in certain cases. Let's go into RTA and we'll go into Siege last. So for RTA, I do think his box is a little too big. He did ask if I think his box is too big, 46 units. My box is big too. I did recently reduce it, so I'll be showcasing that box soon. Uh, but 46 is a whole lot. So if you're not using most of these, 
take them out. First of all, what type of team are you running? Hey gang. It's a hey gang first pick. Yup, it's almost all the time hey gang first pick. You're trying to outspeed with Wu Young. Your win rate is really nice though, 60%. So I do think you should be in C2 or higher. I don't know what your win rate will be once you start playing more in this rank, but if you're holding such a high win rate, 55 plus, I think you should be continuously climbing. So don't stop your playstyle yet. And if your playstyle is working, make sure that you reroute starting with those first few picks. So we know that you want to use Wo Young. We know that you want to use Hei Gang. Now, let's say that those are your first two picks. Let's scrap, let's scrape everything and reroute these with the best runes and start from there. And I'm pretty sure if you have Hei Gang on a certain speed like 270 here, you want to make sure your other strippers that are not like a swift stripper are around the same speed too. So if it's a violent stripper or if it's a despair uh, stripper like Juno, you will want it to be like this on 270. Perfect. You are doing that uh more 270 i think you're doing it really really well right now i think there is really no flaw other than the fact that your box is a little too big ask yourself if you're really bringing these out for counter picks and if you're not take those out and also ask yourself what am i picking 80 percent, 90 percent of the time because those are the stuff you want to start rerunning with your best runes and then go from there but your rune quality looks really really nice right now to be fair yeah, and I see that it will only get better as you will get grants and gems. I don't want to say that your playstyle is wrong because you are holding a 60% win rate up to C2. Now, will, will you meet a wall soon? Sure, but that's with every playstyle with everybody that plays this game. Sooner or later, there will be either a rune wall or maybe even the pick and ban wall. You're going to meet people that deals with your team better that are either just slowly outspeeds you after they ban Hey Gang, and then you'll have no answer. So once you get to that point, you could think about, oh shoot, what should I pick out? What should I rune up to counter those drafts? And that's when maybe your draft will change, your playstyle will change, or you'll bring in certain units that you have never used before. But until then, I will figure out what your core team is, figure out a couple that could be picked out as counter picks within that team, and then rune up a solid 20-30 unit draft and go from there. Right now you have 46, so definitely you have some cutting off to do. If any of these are not scaled up, which, which I doubt because it does seem like you are doing things correctly. Well, actually here, I would definitely fully scale up Shizuka since this is actually pretty big. This, uh, I guess this is absorption. Yeah. And it also removes a beneficial effect. I want this to land most of the, most of the time. So make sure that these skill ones that seem like they're pretty underwhelming are max because they actually do play a decent role even this attack bar break 15 percent that's actually pretty huge attack bar break can save you sometimes so don't go easy on your devil mons i know it's just skill one so it seems like it's not gonna do much but trust me these are huge i'm pretty sure you're just working on this this is a lot of damage that you're missing Get rid of the Sonya. So the like Sonya, Douglas. Oh, this Sonya I'll definitely get rid of. It's way too slow. If you can get a Sonya that has like plus at least 16, 1800 attack and at least 320 speed, you're not using that unit. So yeah, continuing on with these skill ups. More to finish it off. Pyeongchar, take it out. There's no point. You want to bring out cert these certain units if you're really lacking this type of damage dealer. Are you lacking a bru bruiserish type damage dealer? No, you have Fang. And Fang, I think, personally, is a much better damage dealer than Pyeongchar in RTA. Yes, it does have that AoE strip, heal, and also maybe some stuns. Damn, seeing that, it seems like a really strong unit. But I personally think that overall, Fang is a much stronger unit. And you're not lacking that bruiser, so no point of adding another bruiserish wind damage dealer. I think everything else is then scaled up. Yeah. Oh, no, Pure 2. This one's huge too. Stun, right? This adds a stun there. So you don't want to go easy with these skill ups. Again, I don't think your playstyle is wrong. Continue with this after you continue continuously grind them with all the grinds and gems you get from Solo R5 and the raid. And you might see even more success with it. But like everybody else, you will meet a wall because simply there'll be people that know how to deal with drafts that you play. Or they'll just have faster runes and simply just outspeed you and snipe everything. It just happens. Finally, let's go into Siege. It looks like it's still going on. Your defenses. Okay. 
bad defense, bad defense, bad defense, bad defense. Everything is bad. So it seems like you're not watching YouTube. You're not watching Summoner's War content. It doesn't have to be me. It could be anybody out there that plays some high level siege. There's a good chance that I won't be playing high level siege next season and for a while because a lot of things have changed within my life. But I will try my best to follow at least somewhat what the meta is so that I could continuously show what the defenses are and even apply it to my G1 siege or G2 siege that I'll be in. But seeing this, I could definitely tell that this person is not watching any of that and uh, siege defenses portray that. I think with Siri, you want to be using a Nat 4 defense. I know there has been some Nat 5 defenses with Dark, Dark Siri, but I think the Nat 4 defenses are the ones that are more successful, especially in the lower sieges. You would want Chilling here. And Chilling, put it on a Fast Violin set or a Swift set. And then you would want a Damage Dealer. Usually it's a Dark Truffle. It could be... But Dark Truffle is the same thing. Truffle or... Yeah, I guess this could work. This is definitely a defense that I'll play with. Make this swift or violent, but make sure that it is your quickest. Give it will runes and then put a shield set somewhere in this team so that your chilling has shield will, which allows it to have like 40 more speed, 39 something, right? So with that, it gets really hard to outspeed this team, allows you to move first, and then they'll have to take a second turn stance unless they do outspeed. So that'll be one defense that I make. This one is very lackluster too. Britta is a very nice unit that you could play with in siege defense. Yes, you do. You could use you could use this here, and then go Asher. Do you have Asher or the Fire Baic? That's fine. No Fire Baic is fine. There are certain everybody is lacking certain units. This is a good unit too, Kumar. So then here you could just change this to probably like Kapsu. Kapsu is a free-to-play unit, so you should definitely have Kapsu, right? Yes, you do. Definitely another defense that I'll create. Another one here. You could still use your Nigo here if you want. Is this a light? Don't give me Lord. Oh no, it's a water free. Now you could try using Miing too. Actually, let's not even take this in. I just want to give you more of the meta stuff. It could still be a little outdated now, since we don't know that Siege Tournament happened. But I'm pretty sure in this level, it'll still work really, really well. So Nana Pyeongchar with your LD is definitely still a easy, easy team to make. There you go. Oh, oh it's still, you're still playing, that's why. Let's just add it. Because none of those units are being used. So there's a lot more, right? The more Tessarion, uh, Savannah, that's one as well. Uh, another NAF 4, I'll probably go with like a Carcano type. I want a speed lead, right? Uh, if you don't have like the meta stuff, try still the old stuff. They still work with like the Wind Mermaid. What's her name? I totally forgot what it was. Cichlid, right? Carcano Cichlid plus one still works. I'll try to find a Kinky defense because a lot of low level players still have a hard time dealing with Kinkies. Maybe Clara Escher could be one as well. There's just so many things that you could still build than the defenses that you see right here. These are very outdated or they don't really work well. Actually, this one could still work. This one's probably your one of your best ones, right? One's your, oh, okay, this one's working too. It is G1, I guess. Oh no, it's not even G1, it's P3. Yeah, anything will work, but the more meta it is, the more success that you'll have. Offenses, okay, this offense can still work if you do outspeed. This one as well, I'm not gonna change that. This one too could work, but it's better if it's probably an Alaya, which you do on the pool if you can. Um, yes, this one is good. Like, I'm not gonna take certain things that are not you uh, that are good, right? I'm gonna only take out the stuff that are not usable anymore. Like this one, I think this one you could now print just Rena because I think the nerf on that. That win unit is a little too big. So I'll put that. I like this offense as well. Here. Well, let's get rid of this. I don't like that. So Island is a definitely fun play, fun unit to play with. This could be Tetra here if you want. And then Malite again. You could make multiple Malites. Yeah, you do have multiple Malites, so that's good. This is a good offense. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Okay, definitely could use the Sonya offense here if you want to really outspeed something. I know you do have Mi Yang. 
right there, and then Sonya. That should be skilled up, so that's a good one as, as well. So you already have fast two fast ones. Um, this one is a second turn. This one is a fixed one. Yeah, and everything else seems fine. I just don't like certain offenses like this one. I don't know how it performs. I don't like this one either. So maybe get rid of those. This one too. I don't think it's the greatest of offenses. And we all know that these runes are being shared somehow. So I'm pretty sure you could make again one really fast swift set and share the fast swift runes. Swift rune here. Swift rune here. Swift rune here. Swift rune here. Make sure that they are all sharing the same swift rune. Tune your offensive units to that swift build on those units. And then you'll have all those working offenses with that one swift set. Yeah, but that is it for this review, guys. I think I'll recommend those defenses too. So three more that he can make really that are more meta. And I want him to see more success. I think rune quality wise, it's okay at the current point but grinds and gems are in need of work a lot of grinds a lot of runes that to me seemed worthy of legend grinds didn't have it some didn't even have the hero ones and i think gems were kind of lackluster as well so i want you to work on that for a long time uh, and then if anything you probably want to go back into maybe artifact farming a little more since i saw your bomb team and i saw that the bomb damage is very lackluster i think that tiana team really needs to stack bomb damage because you are lacking that attack buff and then after that probably go back to i don't know i think they're all around the same level i think you could decide on which runes you want to farm more i'm pretty sure at this point of the game you know what you might like and finally with that rta like i said with your 60 percent win rate i think you are doing well just see it perform more as you get better grinds and gems for those builds again first thing is to shrink your box to maybe 30 units know what you're playing and i'm pretty sure you do know because it seemed like you were playing the same five picks almost for those last five games that we just seen so i'm pretty sure you know the five ten units that you mostly pick you could expand that to 20 units if you want to pick out some counter units and then a few more because i know it at a you think that you, you'll be using this here and there. With that, 30 units should be more than enough. And I want you to continue that because right now you are seeing success. I think you're going to meet a wall sooner or later. I think when, once your win rate goes up to like, or goes down to like 53, 54%, I think that's where you can say, okay, I need to change things up or I need to figure out how to deal with certain teams that I'm, that I'm losing against. If you guys want account reviews like this, please join my Patreon. If you guys want actual account improvement, join my Discord, fill out the Google form, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.